How you doing? Fabulous. The end of a trip, what signs do you look for for fatigue or fatigue is not giving a maximum effort? Um, I don't know. I mean, we just can't, we can't have that approach. It's, it's going to be more mental than anything. Um, we have to be locked in and be professional about the task at hand. So we can't worry about being tired. And, um, the last game of the road trip, like, we're still playing for something. Um, we're still you know, trying to get better every night. And so that's got to be our main focus. Coach, what kind of case has Norm put together for six men? Uh, strong case. You know, to me, he's definitely the sixth man of the year. Um, like I said, leading, leading the league in fourth quarter three-point shooting, leading the league in corner threes, um, being a scorer um, at a high volume from all over the floor, getting to the free throw line, mid-range, threes. And so he's been huge for our success as well. And so a strong case for me. And then as far as Russ, it's his fifth game back. He played the most minutes he's played since his return in Charlotte. Uh, how would you assess the way he's been able to sort of reacclimate and what are you looking for from him as he continues that? Um, first time I've seen him get tired the last couple of games, you know, just the way he plays and playing hard and bringing that intensity. And so just getting back in basketball shape, um, his timing back, you know, around the rim, around the basket, being able to finish. Um, but I like what he's brought so far. Coach Lou, uh, you look at, you know, these last few games, just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, the uh, level of competition that has been taking place here in the Western, Western Conference uh, specifically. Just want to get your thoughts on, you know, how it is, you know, with these teams moving around, jumping around. I know you just focused on your team, but you have to pay attention to all the other activities going on, too. Just want to get your thoughts on the conference. Yeah, it's a tough conference. You know, we have um, three teams with over 50 wins right now. I think just one in the East. And so, um, tough conference every single night. You know, when you play against a tough team, you got to be, you know, locked in and understanding the game plan and executing on both sides. And so, you know, um, every day the standards are changing, you know, one loss or one win. And so you just got to be locked into yourselves and understand what we got to do to get better. And that's our main focus right now. Ty, uh, with Kawhi, what are you looking for out of the guys tonight in terms of uh, getting more out of guys who might not necessarily get more minutes uh, when he is here, like Amir or, or Russ, for instance? Like, what are you looking for out of those types of guys? No, I think it's going to be collectively just doing the right thing. I think on the defensive end first, that's where it starts. Um, just being locked in, getting back in transition, taking away their easy cuts because Sabonis is a great passer. That's what we got to focus on. I think we'll be okay scoring the basketball, but we got to have a defensive mindset, which, you know, losing Kawhi is huge for us. What have you seen out of Zoo uh, since he came back? Obviously, when he came back, he got off to basically a slow start getting back in the flow of things. What have you seen from him in the recent games and weeks? Yeah, getting back to where he was at before he hurt his calf. I think you know, finishing around the basket, being able to catch lobs, dunking the basketball. But um, the biggest thing is just you know finishing around the rim and getting his timing back. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep.